everyone, this is Rox the Slayer and I'm back with another round of movie and TV news. I've got some bombastic stories to share with you, so it's very exciting to share it with you on this channel. The new companion has been announced for the latest instalment for Doctor Who, with Millie Gibson joining the Time Lord in his adventures. An announcement has been made for the new Spider-Man TV show, bringing the character of Silk to the small screen. And huge updates about Deadpool 3 have been made, hinting at new characters to come. All that in this video. We've got big news about Doctor Who, as a new companion is joining the Kuti Gatwa as he becomes the 15th Doctor. Announced live on BBC's Children in Need on Friday, the mystery actor emerged from the TARDIS to reveal Millie Gibson, an actress of Coronation Street fame. During the show, Millie revealed that her time-travelling sidekick will be called Ruby Sunday, who will be joining the Doctor's thrilling adventures across space and time. I'm not familiar with this actress, but I think she'll bring a unique side to the Doctor Who universe. As she is only 18 years old, this could allow Millie to bring a youthful, sp youthful spirited fun to Ruby Sunday. Her character has a fitting name that sounds like someone the Doctor would meet, so I'm excited to see her bring this companion to life. From the videos I've seen, the chemistry between the Kuti Gatla and Millie Gibson is transcending to watch, so I can't wait to see the dynamic between the Doctor and Ruby Sunday. Doctor Who showrunner Russell T Davis had this to say about the character. It's a great honour of my job to find the new generation of talent, and Millie shines like a star already. She's brilliant, dynamic, clever and a wonderful actor. As a Coronation Street fan, I've seen Millie survive chases, guns and sieges. But that's nothing compared to what lies ahead for Ruby Sunday. It looks like Millie Gibson will have a thrilling time on the show. I can't wait to see where her character goes. But with that, what do you think of this announcement? Do you think Millie Gibson is the right choice for the companion? Share your thoughts in the comments. We have a big announcement regarding the future of Spider-Man, as Sony has struck a deal with Prime Video to bring out a series of Spider-Man spin-offs as part of a multi-series deal. One of those shows will be Silk Spider Society, which will adapt the character of Cindy Moon, aka Silk. Showrunner of The Walking Dead, Angela Khan, will be headlining the series, while Spider-Verse directors Phil Lord and Chris Miller, as well as Sony boss Amy Pascal, will serve as executive producers. The show is set to air on MGM Plus and Prime Video in the, in the inevitable future. The show is based on the web slain hero Cindy Moon, aka Silk, who is a Korean American hero who is bitten by the same spider that bit Pe Peter Parker, imbuing her with spider sense, web shooting abilities, superhuman strength speed and agility. The show will see Silk as she escapes captivity in search of her missing family, which will make an intriguing storyline for the series. The character had previously appeared in Spider-Man Homecoming, with a minor role as Peter's high school classmate, so it's likely the role will be recast to accommodate the Sony universe. I think this is a perfect way for Sony to expand their Spider-Man universe, as it will give these TV spin-offs the opportunity to explore 
the alternative Spider-Man across the multiverse, like Spider-Man 2099 and other Spidey-related variants. While continuing to branch out and make villain movies like Venom and Craven the Hunter, Madam Web could even be the web that entangles all of these shows together. I can't wait to see what the future brings for Sony and if Silk Spider Society will open a new chapter for the franchise. But anyways, what do you think of Silk Spider Society? I think it is going to be a fantastic instalment for the ever-expanding Spider-Man universe. To finish this video off, I've got intriguing information regarding the upcoming Deadpool 3 as it looks like you may have gotten new details regarding the adversary, Ryan Reynolds' Deadpool and Hugh Jackman's Wolverine will face in the upcoming MCU prequel. One of the juiciest rumours as of late regarding Deadpool 3 is that it will feature Owen Wilson's Mobius M. Mobius from Loki. Not only that, but he could be in it, but he could have a big role in the film. His involvement means the Time Variance Authority is part of the story, which in turn indicates the anticipated follow-up will be a multiverse adventure. With that in mind, the possibilities of potential villains could be endless. But insider Daniel Richman has shared some new details on who the villain could be in Deadpool 3 via these casting calls. According to The Grid, the movie is casting a female villain aged in her 30s, 40s or 50s. This female adversary is reportedly a lead who is a foe to Deadpool and Wolverine. Additionally, the production is also looking for a male lead, who is BIPOC, Black Indigenous Persons of Colour, who would, who would be a leading man but not a suit. They want a strong actor who could also do comedy. The, the grid added that this character will have scenes with Ryan Reynolds and Hugh Jackman. There are so many theories about who the villain of Deadpool 3 could be, including Danger, a robot personification of the X-Men's classic training room. This guess comes from a comic issue, which heavily features the character which Ryan Reynolds can be seen reading during the Hugh Jackman announcement video. Other educated guesses include Lady Deathstrike, or an aged up X-23 who was last seen in Logan. But regardless, I think this film is going to be a masterpiece. Seeing Deadpool and Wolverine teaming up on the big screen will be magical to see as they travel through the multiverse on a universe-spanning road trip, trying to evade the dangerous clutches of the TVA and other enemies, messing with the timeline in the process. There has been rumours coming out that we'll see past Fox franchises in the film, including the 2005 Fantastic Four and past X-Men. So it looks like Deadpool 3 is gearing up to be the film everyone wanted Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness to be. The film is currently slated as an untitled Deadpool Wolverine film, set to release on November 8th, 2024. But what do you think of these new rumours? Are you excited for Deadpool 3? I think it is going to be one of the MCU's best. That comes the end to this week's Tuesday Weekly. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed what I talked about today. I might take a break from YouTube for a while to focus on other things, but I will come back when the time is right. But that's it for this video. Bye for now.